Hi everybody, um, today I wanted to do a review of the semiconductor industry um, around the world and just get an idea for what's going on uh, globally. So in terms of exports, um, China actually is the number one uh, exporter of semiconductors, uh, followed by Japan um, and then Malaysia. Um, so uh, Taiwan also has a lot of exports as well in South Korea. Um, now, it really depends um, what you're talking about uh, when you talk about semiconductors or uh, integrated circuits. Um, so you have electronic integrated circuits. This may include uh, PCB boards and some other um, parts. So you can see that Taiwan actually is number one um, for electronic integrated circuits. So, um, but when you're talking about just the chips themselves, um, it's uh, China, it looks like here, um, but uh, uh, this, both of these are kind of a little bit confusing to uh, judge on though. And here's a global map of who's exporting semiconductors. Um, you can see uh, China here and Japan are being uh, pretty high up uh, as well as the United States and even Germany. I was personally surprised a little bit on the import side. Um, you can see Hong Kong here is pretty highly uh, ranked, uh, and then China is number two also on imports. So China does import a lot of their goods uh, from other countries as well. Um, so you can kind of compare uh, exports and imports. So you can see China's about 34, 35% are exports, and then they got about 12 and 12 or 13% on imports. So on the integrated circuit side, um, meaning basically larger parts, uh, you could have, uh, you know, not just semiconductors. Um, so this could be PCB boards and a lot of other things as well. So, um, but you can see here, China is even higher on imports. Um, so you can see they're about 27%. Uh, so I'm going to change the integrated circuits one to the electronics category in general. So this will be all electronics. Um, and it's going to redo this. So you can start to see um, on the export side, uh, China is exporting about almost 30% of the world's electronics. Um, and that um, is a little bit differentiated uh, from semiconductors. So semiconductors, you can see semiconductors, conductors uh, is still part of one fraction of that. Um, it's, and they included uh, light sensitive or parts for semiconductor devices. So, um, but in general, electronics is kind of uh, the main category here. So in terms of export, you can see that actually Europe does export quite a lot of electronics, but primarily uh, in Germany and the Netherlands, France, uh, and Italy and so on. Um, but uh, you can see the United States um, actually has kind of relatively small part of the electronics industry. Now on the import side, you can see that uh, North America actually is quite large uh, importer of electronics, but not as big as Europe and certainly not as big as uh, Asia. So something like 25% of the uh, semiconductors uh, out there are microprocessors. And then there's, uh, so most of them are actually memory, which is about 30% or so. Um, and then you can see logic um, also is about 25% here, maybe even more uh, than uh, microprocessors. Um, and then uh, uh, power, power semiconductors being around 11% uh, or so, 10%. However, the electronics industry is really divided up into many different factors. Uh, you can see transformers, electromagnetics, batteries, uh, vacuum cleaners are even considered electronics, uh, telephones, microphones, sound producing apparatuses, video recording, sound storage media, radar, uh, monitors and projectors, TVs, radios, telephones, other parts. So there's just, the list goes on and then the, even these are kind of broken down into other uh, parts. So if you take, for example, this one, I could break this in, not as breaks it into even further subsections of electronics. So there's quite a lot um, within just the electronics category, but the semiconductors is one section of that. So you can see that um, between 1995 and 2020, um, basically Asia was really kind of increasing uh, their amount of electronics, uh, excuse me, semiconductors. Um, and basically 
uh, around 2011, things started to drop uh, globally here uh, for the uh, production of exports. Uh, and then uh, things kind of uh, stabilized again. And then now it's continuing on with Asia uh, picking up some steam as well as the rest of the world. Uh, but you can also see Europe and uh, even North America looks like it's kind of thinning up a little bit um, in terms of electronics, uh, semiconductors, sorry. And in terms of electronics in general, um, you actually start to see Africa uh, pulling in here with uh, some level of uh, uh, production. So they have about $45 billion worth of production electronics. Uh, now Asia has about 1.3 trillion, which is quite a number here. Um, and then you can see Oceania even has a little bit of electronics production, uh, Europe, having about uh, 500 and, or excuse me, 654 billion dollars, uh, and uh, North America being 456 billion. Um, but it's interesting to see how this has kind of changed over time um, in terms of production with each area, uh, each geographic region. So perhaps the largest uh, fab in the world, these are places that produce uh, these semiconductors um, and chips and things, uh, basically is in South Korea. Um, you can see they produce almost a half a million uh, wafers per month. Um, the next biggest one is in China, and then there's another one in South Korea that produces about the same as the Chinese one. Um, so South Korea really is uh, pushing out a lot of electronics, um, and uh, semiconductors in particular, you can see they're doing uh, a lot of memory and they also have a foundry here as well. So, um, so most of this being memory at the top here um, in terms of production. I was personally surprised to see how much China really is influencing uh, the global semiconductor market um, just in terms of uh, the largest fabs in terms of production capacity. You see that many of these are in China um, and also Taiwan. So basically China and Taiwan uh, are kind of leading here, at least on the top of the list here. Um, and you can also see on cost, you know, some of these fabs here uh, like that, uh, you know, $33 billion, um, $24 billion for a fab um, that produces about 200,000 200, uh, wafers per month is uh, kind of a lot of money for one uh, facility. So in terms of companies, um, you know, uh, Intel is producing the most number of ICs, integrated circuits, and this is in millions. Um, so this is a uh, million and then billion. So 70 billion, 70, 71 billion uh, chips uh, produced. Um, and this is just the top 15. You can see Samsung being number two, TSMC, uh, SK Hynix, and Micron. Um, this data is a little bit old, but um, 2020 is uh, reasonable to uh, say for what's going on with that industry. Now you might wanna do a search uh, for a transistor wafer and just see what it looks like. So you can kind of see these wafers, these circular uh, things here, and then even an example of what uh, 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 the actual transistor looks like. Uh, now, if you're interested in more details, uh, you might want to look up Wikipedia's semiconductor industry in China. They also have semiconductor industry in Taiwan. They even have semiconductor industry in India. So um, you can look at that and kind of see the details about what kind of companies are uh, playing a role. Uh, but particularly in China, uh, you can see right here. You can also click on electronics industry in China and see what it looks like in terms of working conditions. Uh, they show some pictures, uh, what it looks like, a lot of different graphs and some other things that would be interesting and helpful to see. You can do some searches and see, like for example, large electronic companies by revenue, um, whether you agree with this or not, there's different uh, charts out there. Um, you see Apple shows as number one in terms of electronics company by revenue. And I just did an image search here for global electronics industry, and you can see um, shows largest electronic companies, um, some supply chain graphs, um, different things. Um, but I really I recommend the Harvard Atlas of Economic Complexity. Um, this can show you this kind of graphs here. Uh, if you'd like to see that, I'll post the link down below. Um, so there are some reports online, if you check the news, um, that the, is the electronics industry uh, contracting or expanding. You can see that there has been some periods where the electronics industry has actually dropped uh, globally. Um, you can see right here, uh, 2016 is an example. Um, and then right here, 2019 is another example. 
Um, so, uh, and then particularly back here um, in uh, 2009, you can see definitely had a big drop there. So for semiconductors in specific, you can see there was a pretty big drop in 2009, but actually the major drop um, was here um, between uh, 2011 and 2012. Uh, you can see that's quite a big drop uh, in the semiconductor industry. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed the study of both semiconductors and electronics globally, what's been going on. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. I'd be glad to chat with you about it. Hope this has really helped you. Thanks.